Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Board Game Arena. I'm your LP here for today, capital G. And I'm a board game nut, so once in a while I like to play a game here. Uh, lots to choose from. We have some modern games like Seasons, Puerto Rico, Race for the Galaxy. Some older ones like Can't Stop, Gomoku, Hearts, Quattro. These are all great games. Um, there's even a few games that aren't actually released yet in real life, such as Expedition Northwest, which I think uh, they're going to kickstart her soon. Uh, there's another one here, Gear and Piston, which had a successful, as I understand, had a successful kickstarter campaign because of being on the site. So yeah, what game are we going to play today? Uh, let's see what people are playing now. I'm just going to play some random people for now. But anybody who wants to uh, anybody who wants to join me in a game of any uh, of anything on the site really, uh, come on in. Uh, the site's you just need to register. It's free to play. And actually, I'll sh here's a good one: Seasons. Uh, I do own this game in real life, so I I know how to play this quite well. Offline, never mind. She's offline, it'll be, it'll be a long wait. I'm not sure what I want to play. Now oh, there's another Seasons game here, so let's go with that. This game plays up to four people. And... It's a fun little card drafting game and dice drafting game. It's beautiful in real life. So as you see here, we've got a little chat window. Usually not much gets said here, just like a hello and good luck. So do that. And now for now, what we do, we start by drafting a hand of nine cards. Um, they all have different effects towards the game. And this is what I'm going to take right away. It's, it looks like it's hard to play, but <laughs> it scores a lot of points at the end. So that's a potential win condition for me. And all oh, this, like having this in play and then just playing this at the end, that's gonna score me a lot of points. I've got a combo. This card in and of itself doesn't score points while it's in play, but this will let me score a lot of points. This is a what? This is a new card actually. It's a, the game just had an expansion deck. And they actually have the expansion deck here. Okay. That lets you find the familiar, which are creature cards in orange. Purple cards are considered magic items. Like, this is a very powerful one, actually. I'm surprised I'm, al I'm allowed to get it. That's also strong. Oh, let's bless that you, but let's start with the Divine Chalice. Let's see, it gives you 10 points at the end of the game. You can draw 4 cards from the deck and put, put one into play for free. Definitely strong. If you only have magic items and play, gain 20 crystals. I like this. 20 crystals are, um, it's both a currency and a vict and uh, each, each one's a point. So it's definitely worth having something like that. Potion of Life. You can take energy tokens, these are elemental tokens you can acquire throughout the game and turn them into four point, four, into four crystals each, so all of a sudden they're all worth four points. And the fortune reduces the cost of any power card by one elemental token. And crystal orb allows you to discard crystals to summon free energy, potentially summon free energy cards. Ah, uh, free cards, sorry. So you know what, I'm going to go with this one, Crystal Orb. Uh, Purse of Pers Vio, you can transmute your elements during the game with other effects, and you get an extra crystal for each one. Actually what I like here is the damn solo bonus. It's worth minus 5 points at the end of the game, but it gives you some... Uh, it can be really, really annoying. These cards are still in play, so I'm going to take... Olive's Plus Statue gives me 20 crystals for, three, for only 3 blue. For 
Fortress of Io or Karen the Destroyer. Karen the Destroyer. I just I just don't want my opponent to have him. Oh wow. He is a beginner. He doesn't know the, str the strength of some of these cards. Like this card, I'm going to play in my first phase. Um, how the game works, it's played over three years, starting in the winter. That's one year, two years, three years. And at the end of three years, whoever has the most points wins. Simple as that. Uh, so, in the third year, this is going to be third year. That's third year. And that's going to be third year. Choose selected cards. Second year. Damn, Soul of Onus will go in the second. Uh, so, well, well, we don't need him right away, so he'll go to the second year. As will Karen. And. The Divine Chalice, in fact. We're gonna try and get this. get one, two, three out early. There we go. Now every turn the, these three dice will be rolled, they all have different sides, which will give you different elemental tokens. Um, any side with a star increases what's called your summoning gauge. It determines how many cards you're allowed to have in play. If it's got a border, you're allowed to trade your elemental tokens for one, two, or three energy crystals, depending on the season. And the number of dots, you see these little dots on the bottom of the dice, determine how far this calendar advances. So I'm going to take this one for the, with the two blue. It's strong, having two elemental stuff. Oh, he's playing right away. He's playing a Thieving Fairies. Every time I activate a card, uh, some cards have abilities you can play while the card is on the table in front of you. And whenever I use one of those, it'll cost me an extra crystal to use it. Um, so be it. I'm gonna end my turn here. There's no card I can play yet. And now it's my turn to choose. And I'm going to choose again to take two blue because I need a lot of blue to play this card. Once I do, I'll have 20 crystals and then I can start spending it. And then I can collect other elemental tokens to play this card. So, boom. Now he has to choose between elements, or this six means six crystals. Or otherwise it forwards three spaces. So it's going to go one, two, three, and all of a sudden, instead of being winter, it'll now be spring on the next turn. Oh, this plus statue comes into play. End my turn. Alright, now I'm going to start collecting these other crystals and get this out. Because this will be very powerful. Like this, and or even this. Uh... Oh, it's, it, this, well, the uh, stars are very strong. This is going to be a point and two green ones. You'll notice that uh, like in winter it's like blue-red over here, then yellow-green, and over here it's blue-green, red-yellow. The rarity of the elements change with each season. So any elements, like for example in the, uh, in the spring, you can't get the yellow element at all. It's just not available to you. But there are a chance, a good chance of getting green or blue, a decent chance of getting red, just no chance of getting the getting the yellow. Of course, if you come into the season having some yellow ones, and you want to transmute, you can. Uh, he's revealing some cards. Blue is Greyface. I think, if I remember correctly, he copies elemental tokens, so he's a strong card to have. Actually, I will end my turn. There's nothing I can do with what I have right now. Now as you can see it's easy to get two fire. So I'm gonna get two fire in the star here because I need fire for both of these cards. Boom. It's also gonna boost my summoning gauge which is a good thing. I might even just play the I might I'm gonna play this card this turn, why not? I have more than enough crystals, I've got twenty one of them. I'm going to play this card, and now I have it in play, I can activate it. It'll cost me one energy card to activate it. So I'll activate it, look at the top card of the deck.
And if I like it, I can put it into play. Oh. Gain 10 crystals and 1 water energy. It'll cost me 4 energy to put it into play. Ugh. But I get 10 for playing it, so yeah, I'll do it. Oh, I have to summon it it's for 4 energy tokens. Yes, it's these, not, uh... I misplayed that. I thought it was crystals, not energy. I've never played with... I've never actually used this card. I know what that top card is. I probably don't want to keep it there. Because I've already got a damn soul in my hand coming up. Oh, this is interesting. I have a chance... I, I've, I can... I have the option of drawing a card here. We're taking the elemental tokens. Uh, I'm looking for a red one, so I don't need these per se. I'm gonna draw that card that time, so the is not gonna come into my hand. What did he just play? Oh, he's getting. He's gonna gain uh, crystal for every familiar he hasn't played these orange cards. Very strong for him. I draw a power card. Now I have the damn soul. And so I don't need a blue right away, I'm actually going to... You have the choice of keeping this card in the card, I'm going to keep the card. I'm going to put him into play. So I gain 10 crystals and 1 water, so basically play for free. And I'm just going to pass it off to the fat fat duck. Uh, pass him off, it's going to cost me a crystal to do it, but... All of a sudden now he has a damn soul bonus and he's going to lose some points. End my turn. And there's no blue from the get, so he's gonna be stuck with it for another turn. Also, now I get some red. So I'm gonna grab this one here. Boost my summoning gauge. Get a couple of feathers. Feathers will be good for my future cards, I think. Yes, like he needs three of them on his own. I can take some actions. It's gonna cost me three crystals to play this, but oh! And now all my future cards will cost me one less thing to play. End my turn. He's got some good energies here. He can probably. He doesn't have any cards left in his hand for this turn, I don't think. Oh, it's true. If the Isle of the Familiar reduces the effect of the damn soul. Oh, he's got two blues, so I can't sneak this on him. That'd be funny if I could. It really, it really would be. Next turn, I'm gonna stuff him with this. It's gonna be some funny stuff. Um, I want the feather in the star, actually. Karen the Destroyer comes in. If he doesn't, uh, I don't know, I'm getting, uh, it's gonna get bigger for me, so. Karen the Destroyer will come in. Now I'm gonna get stuck losing crystals. Because the damn soul of Onus is cursed! And now he plays. Oh, he's also got a crystal orb. Interesting. Fat Duck was chosen to use the summon or replace a card. Places it, out, places it on top. So I'm not gonna. I have the option of transmuting. I'm not going to. But I will play this card. And now, I, from here on in, I can discard an energy token to make him lose four crystals. It's only gonna cost me two. And the damn soul I'm gonna be stuck with for a little bit, so end my turn. I'm gonna lose three points for that, but so be it. Now I get to choose. Uh, I need to boost my summoning gauge, so I'll take this one. Uh, he's got one blue. Uh, I can play this for free, get a second blue. Pass them both off. It'd be funny. It would be really funny. And you can only pass one back to me. 
No, I'll do that on my next turn. Because then he'll be stuck with it for a bit. And my turn. So I'll pay the I'll, I'll pay this this three crystal thing, but so be it. Activates the crystal orb. He's he's like he's got a copy of this too. So it looks like he's gonna put a card into play for free here. Uh, still waiting for him to decide. And there it is. Oh wow! Lucky bugger. Every time he summons a card, he gets three crystals. Uh, oh, some good ones here. Uh, I already have blue, so I definitely want. I definitely want to diversify here, so I can get my divine chalice in play. Actually, no, I'm gonna take the level blue for now. I'll have other opportunities to get the rest. Okay, so he ends his turn, so I'm going to play this. It's basically... Oh no, it's not for free because it's a minimum cost of one crystal, of one, uh... One blue, so boom. Play that. Play that ability, it cost me two crystals, but he's gonna lose six crystals on his turn. Am I evil or what? I could spend that and make him lose a few more of the Karen. Nah. I'll keep it, because he's going to send at least one of those damn souls back at me. And my turn. Now that it's my turn to choose, I'm going to diversify. This is a good one. I can play my, Div my Divine Chalice this turn. That's going to be strong for me. I'll make it easy for me to play my good, my good stuff after. I'm going to play the Divine Chalice. I look at the top four power cards and play one for free. Oh, some good ones. We've got this one. Discard X crystals to change. I can discard crystals to change what elements I have, or this. It allows me to reroll the die every turn, but. Now, with the way he works, I'm going to put the Olaf's Plus statue. It's 20 crystals. Yeah, this is worth probably worth the most to me. So I'm gonna go with this one. Twenty crystals for free. And my turn with that. What's Fat Duck gonna play? Well he can't play anything. He's got more cards than he has space. Actually now he's got space for a card. So I'm gonna lose some points to the damn soul, but that's okay. Actually, I'm gonna be, it's going to be hard to get rid of, because I don't have any access to blue for another two turns. At least, because we're not changing... Oh, Runic Cube, he spends 20 crystals to, put 30 to get a 3-point card. That's a good one. Uh, oh boy. Right now, this is the one I need. It gives me two out of. Th it, it'll allow me to play this and play this, and maybe get that in as well. So this one, and it'll go. We'll, we'll advance it to the winter. It'll give me a chance to get some blue and chase away the damn soul. And my turn. I must choose. I choose this one. That's a good one for me to have now. I may take some actions. Goodbye! Um, I can play this one. It would get me one, two, three, four, five. Five more energy tokens, which will be enough to play this one. Do that. And I'm gonna keep my blue one handy. I'm getting five. It'll be enough for me to play this card. One, two, three, four, five. Play Lantern or it. Boom. Uh, 
and my cards are down, and if I'm able to get a whole bunch more energy tokens, I might use my uh, crystal orb again. Until then, end my turn. Yeah. So now he's stuck with two damn souls and still no blue for him. Awesome. I don't want to draw a card because any cards you have left in your hand at the end of the game is worth uh, is a five point penalty. So I'll take that one. Unfortunately, I won't be able to play this right away, but I'll have lots of time to do it. Whoa, how is he getting energy? What did he do? Oh, he used one of his bonuses. See, there's four bonuses I can use. You can take a point penalty. In this case, it'll be a minus five point penalty to trade up tokens. He hasn't got. He still has. He still hasn't gotten rid of his uh, damn souls, though. He's keeping them. Oh no, never mind. He did give them to me. So that's gonna hurt my score a bit. Oh, and he uh, he drew. He played this guy. This guy lets him put cards in each player's hand. So he's got a card, and I've got a card. Okay. My turn to play. I can send one of the souls back. Boom. But uh, my summoning gauge is at 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I can't get rid of him, though. I could. I don't have enough room to play him. Or I could take a point penalty myself. I'll do it. I confirm. I boost my summoning gauge by one and I play him. It only costs me one red. Hmm. Does he have any familiars worth sacrificing? Oh, well, it's worth 14 points to me. Add this card to my hand. It's only going to cost me two reds, so I get, I've got to get to those elements. But that's not going to do it. Fortunately, uh, like, this element's rare for the time being, but the others will be fairly common soon. I will need to boost my summoning gauge, so... I need to boost at least by one. And two green is kind of useless, so I'll take this one. I'm not gonna let him boost the summoning gauge. Nothing I can do here in my turn. Problem is, we're both stuck with the damn soul. He had another blue. Ah, oh, I didn't know he had another blue. Oh, and of course he took the green blue away from me. Bugger. So now I'm stuck with two damsel of onus. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ah, I won't be able to play any cards for a bit here. I have to take another penalty to send the send the soul back, but he's got a blue. We'll see if he uses it. Ah, uh, he still has it. Oh, he's already used two bonuses this game, so... I could consider using another bonus to get some blue and chase away the dams. I'm losing six points anyway, so I may as well swap. I confirm. So I'm gonna send back one of the damn souls. 
that'll give me room to play this one. It's worth 10 points to me. Oh, it's my turn to choose. So I'd be going first this turn, and this is vital. So let me chase away, chase away the damn soul. Send it his way. I can take some actions. Yes, I can. I will get rid of him for now. And getting it too far should be pretty common. So I am going to. He's only got one blue, so unless he really spends points to stuff both of them on me. No, I'll keep the blue just in case. Yeah, passed it back to me, no surprise there. Oh no! I don't have my triple... Well, I get one fire, but I need another one. He's got... How does he have so much green? I think he wants to transmute and score big points here. It's transmuting two for each one. Does he have any cards left in his hand? I'm not even sure. He's got five cards in his hand. How does he intend to play them all? How does he have five cards in his hand? It's not that easy to draw cards in this game. Which one is that? Oh, he's just stole five crystals from me. Bugger. Uh, Transmuting is going to do me no good here, so I'm going to chase a damn soul. Goodbye! He's got them both right now, so he's going to lose some points for that. And I will also... Yeah, I'll do that. Take some of his points away. But it's still at a point in the game where it's worth doing. And my turn! No! I need... I still didn't get that. That's the most valuable one to me right now. <laughs> it's my turn. I'm gonna have to... Uh, I'm gonna have to change them change around again. I don't really want to, but... I confirm that is... Rec discard for Duk Duk. I know I want to keep a blue ball. There's no point in keeping a blue handy. Doesn't really matter what it is. It's that card I'm playing. He has to sacrifice something, probably a damn soul. But it's 14 points to me. And then I'm going to make him lose 4 points. Hopefully that'll be enough. I think I've got him. It's tight. It's tight. I was hoping to be like full of energy tokens here to benefit fully from this guy, but it's not how it played out. But he's got so many cards in his hand. He's got so many cards. And he's got no. He's, he can play one. See what he wants to do. Oh, he kept both of his damn souls. Is he gonna actually switch to blue? He is. <laughs> wow. So I'm stuck with two damn soul of Oni. So I'm gonna be losing another 16 points for that. I think actually probably should play like two of his cards. Three, oh, and he's stuffing me with a card. So I'm gonna lose five points. Well, he's getting one too, but still. Well, no, that's that's neutral. That's a card. That's a card for each of us, really. 
I don't think he realizes the game's over. He's got a huge lead on crystals and probably a huge lead because of this. So, he won. Fat Fat Duck won. There's no question on that. See what the final score is. Oh, wow. Wow, 117.66. That was brutal. But really, that's minus 16 points. 5, 10. 13, 16 points just for these guys. Wow, the fact that I had any familiars at all took away from the benefit of the sealed chest which would have been another 20 points. The fact that I had no crystals left means no bonus points from that. Nice. Here, everything is not he's got nothing but positives here. So yeah, good game, my friend. What do you all think of Seasons? Yeah, it's a little, it's a, it looks a little complex, but once you play it a few times, you get the, uh, you get the pace of the game, it's, pre it's uh, pretty quick. That only took, what, 25 minutes or so? So, not bad. 25, 26 minutes. I don't know how long exactly that game took, but... There's all sorts of other games. Anyone who wants to join me and uh, co-commentate, leave a message in the comments, send me a private message. And... You could be a star on my channel. <laughs> I know it doesn't mean all that much, but still, you can. It'd be nice to have any one of you be interested in trying some of these to join me on my channel and play some games. So for now, I'm gonna call it a night, and I will see you all next time. Have a good one.